case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals grappled with a challenging case in 1996 that tested the limits of legal rules against using a person's past mistakes as evidence of their guilt. At issue was Constance Cunningham, a nurse in an Indiana hospital. The nurse was accused of tampering with syringes of Demerol, a potent painkiller, replacing the drug with saline solution. Cunningham's past actions and behaviors, including her previous theft of medication, became critical in the court proceedings. The court was tasked with deciding whether these past actions could adequately support the charges leveled against her. Equally important was the court's need to interpret the law that stipulated actions that prevent treatment of an injury were chargeable offenses. Out of five nurses who had access to the cabinet where the tampered syringes were stored, Cunningham was singled out due to her past addiction to Demerol. Despite her claims of conquering the addiction, a urine test that returned positive for recent Demerol use intensified suspicion, suggesting that Cunningham might have been behind the drug substitution to fuel her addiction. Eventually, the court deconstructed previous legal boundaries by ruling that Cunningham's past behaviors were relevant to the case. In what may be seen as an exception to standard procedure, the court permitted the inclusion of evidence from past bad acts. Cunningham's claims of insufficient evidence for her product tampering conviction crumbled upon this move, leading to the court upholding her sentence. This case remains notable for the way it navigated the complex relationship between an individual's past actions and their guilt or innocence in a current alleged crime. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.